Hello, welcome back to a Rumple video. In the pit, as you can see, I found another way to get through it with my Sith, Thrawn. So it's a Sith Empire team. Thrawn and Sath together have a very, very unique synergy. Thrawn fractures, removes turn meter, stalls your opponent. He also grants turn meter and protection up. And being an empire removes turn meter on his basic. Along with Sass, who grants turn meter and controls the TM for my team, it's awesome. Um, as you will see, on manual mode, it is a piece of cake. It doesn't work too well in auto. But anyways, it takes 30-35 minutes to do, so I've sped the video up. Now let's go check it out. Okay, here we are. There you go, fracture. Works great. Get rid of them. You're home free. And you don't even have to grant it, but I felt when you do grant someone their TM, it's like sass. Nihi was not ready to go next. But I gave it to Nihi and he went. And Sass came up and she went. So the synergy between them two is great. And you can keep the protection up through the whole battle as well. That's what makes it so easy on manual mode. I can control who gets what, even if they need it or not. Thrawn's basic removes two turn meter, being under Zader lead. So all five of my players are, have an opportunity to remove turn meter. The only drawback about this team, yes, it does take 30, 35 minutes. The meta's out there doing it in 10 minutes. But I don't follow the meta. If you're not following the meta and this you want to play, um, this is it. Now, I have done auto mode. Uh, I use ST. I've been trying auto mode with Thrawn, and every time I get the auto mode, it works good four or five minutes, and then Vader's Culling Blade usually is what's wrecking it. So and then I'll stop auto mode, and being Thrawn, if I did get hit a couple times, I can replace that turn uh, protection. So you can play manual mode for a few minutes and then auto. Manual, auto. Auto basic seems to work really well. Um, in phase four, there's no more devour. So I did auto mode for a few minutes there, but I ended up going back to manual mode. Plus I enjoy pushing the buttons. I enjoy playing it. Um, to me, this is fun. Nothing like four sets of red sabers out there. Trust me, I wish I had five. Um, it's very, very, very difficult to solo all four phases with five sets of sabers. Unless you're using uh, CLS. He makes it very easy. But that's not a red saber. <laughs> not a red saber. But it's kind of cool because it's like son and father out there battling the Rancor. So it isn't too bad using CLS. But this here... No CLS, you know, true Sith Empire right here. Um, Thrawn speed is 256. I'm, I'm going to get that over 260. I do believe that would help. Sass's speed is 267. I'm trying to get her over 270. That's just one of them things, farming mods. And you'll notice I will wait to drop the gate till needed. Um, we got down to 80% and it looks like he's going to hit. I'll go ahead and go in. So that's another thing you want to do. You can hit the button a couple times, but let it be there for when you need it. Now I'm starting fresh again. So I will go as far as I can into the battle with the Rancor before dropping that gate usually. I will use fracture the least times that I can. If fracture comes up and Rancor's TM is way down, I won't waste it. 
wait till the TM is middle or more to use this fracture. And you can see I've, I haven't, the rancor hasn't even gone yet. So, I believe I get, I might get hit in phase two, I'm not sure, I get hit in phase three and phase four a couple times. The neat thing about Thrawn, he replaces the protection, I get everybody back up. As you can see right there, I think I skipped the fracture. I didn't need it then. Yeah, I did it then. But anyways, I will um, go ahead and let you enjoy this. It's a great way to get through it. The sass, Thrawn energy is just, I like it. I love it. Um, I'm going to put a video out on the sass, Thrawn synergy because I use that team in my arena. Um... Zavage lead is my lead in the arena if you're not following with Thrawn, Sass, Darth Nihi. See there I got smacked. But the cool thing about Thrawn, watch. Right back up. No worries. And I got chose to shoot Dennis in a fracture. Okay, anyways, enjoy it. Um, if you're curious about mods, I have current mod videos on the team in my mod playlist. And I will have that video coming out about Thrawn and Sass and the synergy of them and how well they worked in the arena as well. And there you saw, I didn't use the fracture. I'm going to try to avoid it. Save it for phase three. You want your team to be completely refreshed now the Rancor Corn comes out. All my bills are all been refreshed, so I'm at, I can go. Went for that speed down, didn't get it. And now you'll notice the button over there is ready to go. I'm not going to hit it. I'm going to go as far as I can on the rank of before I need that. I'm even going to skip my special so it doesn't hit it. Pretty much these are all basic hits. Now his TM got really high, I went ahead and dropped it. And when he comes out of the gate his TM will be down. It's easier to get speed down when the gate's on him as well. I use this basic there, if you noticed. I use it again. Not until you need it. That's what's different about when you do auto mode. It just does it when you don't need it. And that culling blade can just be wrecked. You don't want a culling blade all the time. I will cull in blade when the gate is down. That's a safe spot. You can get some very big culling blade hits when the gate is down on him. And you notice I'm controlling it very well since I dropped that gate. The basics work well if you just watch. I didn't use it. Didn't use his fracture. Excuse me there. <laughs> there. I waited three attempts. If you waited, watch that TM. That's what makes the manual so easy. You're controlling when to what to do with the TM. Oh, can you give it to somebody? Give it to Sass. And she gave it to Nihi.
So, he smacked us. You can take care of that. The gate's ready, but I'm not going to hit it. Watch, I will stay away from it. Now Zidius has got protection back up. I didn't use a fracture there either. This is why I think if Thrawn was over 260 speed, he would go just a little bit more, just a little nudge, to where he would he would be there when you need him when that for that fracture to come up. And his basic removes turn meter well, so it makes him very special here in the pit. I use this basic a lot, if you haven't noticed. With only 43, what are those, buffs, um, you won't get 8%, watch, 14, 12%. But he's going to die here with the gate down, so that's easy. Refresh all your basics. Base 4, no more devour. I'm not sure in this video, but today I did a pit, and I did maybe almost 10% on auto, and then the RNG just took over, but that was 10%, you could sit there for a minute and just go, you know, let it go. Um, I'm already down to 88%, and he hasn't gone. Didn't use the fracture there either. I did it a second time. You get the idea. Works well. I'm going to end this solo with full protection. <laughs> so, if I can find a way to get this run on auto mode, oh man. With four red sabers, that's what I'm trying to do. I want to be able to push the button and watch it play. See, RNG is good. 50% and his ranker ain't gone. And all of a sudden, it's out of the blue, bam, your RNG ain't good anymore and the ranker goes. That's one of the things of being a Sith or lying on that turn meter reduction. That's my main focus is I gotta keep the turn meter off the rancor. I guess we're going to go through this whole thing. Today I got hit in phase four. I think twice. Right here in this vid. Oh, close, close. There, I knew it. 29% he decides to get me, you know? How do you go 29% and RG ain't working anymore? <laughs> well, that's all right. We're throwing in there, recovering protection. Shoot. There it is. Home free. And I push buttons all the way to the end. <laughs> Something about this. I enjoy the raid. Look at that. Didn't even get him. Yeah, 30 buffs. That's not enough. Need like 50 to get a good 10%. Well, there you have it. I gotta get a screenshot of that. But, uh, thank you for watching. Have a good day.